Hey, sign, you're up. Yeah, sorry, I was just that's just my slide. So yeah. Huh. So uh, with that, we are almost to the close of PyCon India 2020, the conference days. And it was a very uh, amazing time that I have spent over the last uh, two days. And I'm hopeful that you all have. Uh, before I jump into the closing remarks, I would like to tell you about the workshops. The ticketing uh, tickets close at 8.30 PM IST. That is within next 20 minutes. And uh, to give the format, it's morning and afternoon sessions. There would be a total of uh, seven workshops and four parallel tracks, uh, with each workshop being 2.5 hours each. So if you have water workshop tickets, see you tomorrow uh, at the workshops. And they would be starting around uh, at 11.30 AM IST tomorrow. The test prints uh, is a two-day event. And we have accumulated a lot of good projects uh, and mentors who would be mentoring to, uh, tomorrow over the course of next two days. Uh, the mentor sprint, so we would be starting off with a, a project introduction. So I would suggest that you end up early if you have got the desperate tickets. The tickets are still open for another 20 minutes. It would again, desperate tickets would also close at 8.30 uh, PM IST. And uh, so that there would be an introduction round of all the projects at the beginning. So if you can ju uh, j jump in there, it would be a good thing so that you get to know, know about, about the projects, projects in detail. Yeah. Yeah. Uh. Uh, yeah, so we today had two amazing uh, keynotes that happened. I was continuously throwing, uh, so, uh, seeing through the uh, chat. I was actually also interacting with the folks, and um, I saw a good amount of uh, people loving the talks that was happening. And uh, both of the talks were unique in their own ways. You probably have understood. But uh, I personally love them uh, watching, and I hope you probably would have too. Uh, uh, so I really th would like to thank uh, Terry and James for taking the team a uh, time out and uh, giving uh, uh, us this innovative uh, and educational uh, uh, teaching around Python. Next, uh, in the beginning, in the morning hours, we started off with a wonderful uh, panel discussion around upstream contributions. And I would like to thank all the panelists, Kushal, uh, Shruti, Abhilash, and our moderator, uh, Anvesha, to be ready at the very last moment and helping us out uh, to arrange the whole panel discussion. And finally, I would uh, like to say thank you to all the speakers of all the five tracks, including all the uh, um, uh, uh, talks that happened throughout the day. I really love uh, uh, watching them. And it was a very great moment uh, to uh, for all of us to know what uh, over the diverse topics that you talked about. Uh, to give some analytics over the next uh, over the last two days, sorry. So we sold around, as I told yesterday, we sold around 2,000 uh, plus uh, tickets uh, through our TownScript platform. Uh, we got uh, 1949 registrations on Hopin over the course of uh, two days. We had an impressive number of 457 networking sessions. So uh, I think that's a very good number. We, I think that's a success. And uh, so this basically the networking ses sessions means that uh, people going to the networking and communicating on a one, uh, one is to one basis. And with that, uh, we have to say goodbye to PyCon India 2020. Uh, it's been a journey of uh, probably six months and a lot of things have happened. Uh, thanks to all the keynote speakers, BOP moderators, diversity and inclusion speakers and uh, everybody were part of that. And finally, the dot extension speakers who uh, took the time out to uh, uh, participate in the uh, sessions. I would like to thank our platinum sponsors, uh, Microsoft Azure, uh, D. Shaw, uh, our gold sponsors, EPAM, and Auth0. I would like to thank our silver sponsors, DeepSource, Toyota Connected, uh, Red Hat, GitHub, Essentia, and JetBrains, our startup sponsors, uh, Pipel Academy. Without the sponsors, we wouldn't have uh, been uh, 
able to pull off this uh, big event, PyCon India. This year, it was only the support of the sponsors that helped us all the way through. I would also I would like to give a special thanks to Efrost, our community partner, who handled the who, the all side of the accounts uh, end to end, and uh, they were really helpful in every aspect possible. So uh, I would really like to extend my thanks to Efrost. And uh, yeah, so with this, like we started our planning for an online conference uh, back uh, back in um, around in Feb. And around March, we started the lockdown. Uh, that lockdown happened, and we were confused what to do. the The whole plan had to be rescheduled, and it was the volunteers over the last few months who have pulled off this amazing um, effort all together to put PyCon India in place in a in a in a way we've never done before. So the whole virtual concept was very new to us. Everybody was learning. I would like to also thank the EuroPython uh, docs that they created the whole uh, documentation that they did. It was amazing. And it took helped us take uh, PyCon India to the next level. one so uh, and uh, this is a co collaborative effort uh, of all the volunteers of the working groups uh, who have done an excellent job you might not have seen uh, them uh, around but they did a phenomenal job and even though you are sitting at home I would really like if you can give a big round of applause to all the uh, working group members, I'll call out uh, the working groups that helped and probably tell a line or two about them. So um, I'll ask Vipul to actually share the volunteers uh, over in this screen. We are live. Clap, Karna, Suru. Video live, video live. Vipul has a share. Ke. Chalo, clapping start kar de. So, uh, we are having a bit of issue, but uh, yeah, so I'd like to thank all the, um, the call for proposal working group who pulled an amazing effort of pulling all the working, uh, all the proposals in there and then we had the code of conduct working group who uh, pulled the effort of uh, maintaining the code of uh, conduct during the conference we had the content working group so the program guide that you see uh, uh, and the documentation that uh, uh, that you saw every email that went out everyone was shared uh, everyone was created through the uh, content working group the Desprint Working Group will uh, reach out to all the uh, Desprint projects that are coming through. The Design Working Group pulled this amazing uh, effort to pull out all nighters, probably to get the program guide design so beautifully made, and then the design of the website as well. Uh, then the Diversity Working Group, I would really like to thank them for bringing such an amazing lineup of talks in the diversity and inclusion track. The Mentorship Working Group, who uh, even after with a very short span of time, they actually pulled off a very amazing effort to mentor as many speakers as they could. We actually tried to, uh, we actually covered most of them, I would say. And then uh, the platform working group, which is primarily finding which platform is best suitable for uh, the uh, offline online conference. So they actually researched through it and uh, found the best uh, platform possible, and which was the StreamYard and the Hopin combination. The social media working group who uh, posted all the things out and uh, every notification possible as with a very little notice. Uh, the sponsorship working group to reach out all the sponsors and the and get the sponsors on board, give them the demos of Hopin. They did a very phenomenal job. The technology working group, which is kind of one man, one man person, but he, uh, uh, the person actually uh, 
looked into every technical aspect of uh, PyCon India this year. So uh, the Tickets Working Group was responsible for doing all the changes, handling all the attendees, and uh, replying to all the emails that were coming through the tickets. And finally, it was not possible without you. It's you who make the conference. It's the community that make the conference. So I would really like to thank all of you for joining PyCon India 2020. And with this, I would come to the conference close. Uh, so stay safe and see you next year.